Hi, this is John Strohmeyer with Strohmeyer Law. Today we're answering the question, what is an executor? Well, in short, an executor is a fiduciary who is responsible for managing a deceased person's probate assets. They get appointed by the probate court and are responsible essentially for tying up all those loose ends. Let's talk about this just a little bit more. So we're going to start by looking at the base underlying law, which is Texas Estate Code section or chapter 351. Now it's going to say some things about the common law and uh, in doing that, what Texas law is saying is that there are duties and obligations that a, an executor will have that go beyond what is written in the statutes. This is a feature of our American common law system where the case law and what has come before will also coordinate and deal with what an executor has to do. So it's not just what's in the statute, but also what's in those cases. But generally, the executor is going to have a general authority to collect the assets, deal with creditors, and then distribute assets to the beneficiaries. So this authority, it's not just an order that comes from a court, though there will be an order appointing that person as the executor. They're also going to have what are known as letters testamentary, which will be their official papers to show to banks and other custodians of assets that they are entitled to work with those assets, that they're entitled by law to collect those assets. So an executor will get letters testamentary. Sometimes you'll get someone who's appointed as an administrator of an estate. There are a few fine details on why those are different, but essentially they have the same job. So executors get letters testamentary, administrators will get letters of administration. Uh, another important thing to note on types of uh, fiduciaries is you may have an independent administration or you may have a dependent administration. Now, again, we can have either independent executor or dependent executor or an independent administrator or a dependent administrator. There's a big difference between these two. The preferred method here in Texas is to have an independent administration. This gives us a lot of freedom for our executors to deal with assets without court control. What people normally confuse with uh, Texas probate with is the, what they hear about California probate and New York probate, and the idea that probate is long, expensive, and cumbersome. This can be uh, similar to what we have as a dependent administration, where the executor is going to need to go in and get approval for everything they do before they do it, or even after they do it, go back and ask the court, hey, we did this, will you ratify it and make sure that we did it right? That's going to impose a lot of additional costs and time for the, f the family and the executor if they have to go get court approval in terms of a order approving everything that's been done. So what does the executor do once we've gotten them appointed? Well, the first job is to collect all of those assets of the decedent. So that means going and finding the bank accounts, the real property, and everything else that the decedent owned so that they know what the decedent owned. Now, this is not just going to be physical items, but it'll also be collecting any claims that the decedent may have had. So if there are any underlying uh, claims for perhaps wrongful death, or if there's a lawsuit that the executor needs to bring because the decedent get it, didn't have a chance to before they died, well, that's going to need to be listed as well. This information is going to get collected by the executor and then produced into an inventory. That inventory lists out all the uh, assets of the estate as well as those claims that may be due and owing to the estate. So basically, what is in the estate? Now, this information used to be required to be filed as a public document with the courts. Why? Well, we wanted to make sure that any creditors of the estate knew what they were fighting over. Um, it also meant that the beneficiaries of the estate had a way to get access to that inventory, so they knew that what they potentially might be entitled to. At this point, Texas law has been updated so that if the creditors of the estate, other than secured creditors, have been dealt with so that there are no unsecured debts left, and all the beneficiaries have been notified and provided with a copy of the inventory, then it's not necessary to file that inventory as a public record anymore. Ultimately, this can be a safety issue for the beneficiaries because you don't have a public document that says the one beneficiary of this estate is now entitled to all of this money. Probably not a great idea. 
from there. Uh, the executors are also gonna have to notify all the beneficiaries of the estate. There are certain ways that they have to do that. So initially they're gonna have to publish a notice to all creditors in a local newspaper, but they're also gonna have to provide information to all the beneficiaries in the estate who are entitled to a share of property. Beyond that, the next job for the executor is gonna be to deal with all creditors of the estate to resolve any final debts. Texas has a specific hierarchy of which creditors get paid first and in which amounts. We'll have a separate video on that later because it gets tricky and a lot of even attorneys who deal in this work get confused on who gets paid first and why. As I mentioned, uh, towards the end of the administration, we're looking at uh, generally a due date for the inventory of 90 days. That's really gonna mark a lot of the end of the formal court ordered probate process. We'll have to get that inventory filed with the court. And once that's been done, that's when we really start looking at distributing assets to the beneficiaries. So to wrap up, an executor is a fiduciary who is responsible for tying up the loose ends for a decedent's estate. They're gonna have a number of jobs, including collecting assets, dealing with creditors, notifying beneficiaries, and finally distributing assets. And at the end of the day, this job is limited in scope. And it really is just how will somebody be there to wrap up a person's final business.